What's up guys, today I have a new Starfield ship design for you. This is a high mobility, high powered fighter. This ship is great in a fight and I was even able to solo all of the ships at the key with it to put it to the test. It has max mobility, 40 reactor power, max shields, a high rate of fire for awesome DPS, solid storage, as well as everything you need to craft on your ship. My goal for this ship originally was to keep the weight as low as possible and make a pure lightweight fighter ship. But after going through a few different iterations of designs, I wound up deciding that in order to keep this ship practical for common use and still get the power and damage I was looking for, I decided not to worry so much about the weight and just focus on keeping the mobility up at 100. This way I can still be able to outmaneuver enemy ships in a fight and still have a classy reactor and cargo hold for all the power and storage I want but not limit my design with a weight restriction. So without further ado, let's take this thing apart in the ship builder and I'll show you how to make it. Now I do have piloting for and starship design for, so you might not be able to get all of these parts if you don't have those skills unlocked yet, but you can scale this down to match whatever you have unlocked so far. So starting off, you have the Haimiji Command Bridge, which you can get at Taiyo Astroneering at Ryujin Industries in Neon. Next you have this NG6 Landing Bay, which I got at New Atlantis, but I think you can get it just about anywhere. Next is this Deimos Armory 2x1, which I also got in New Atlantis. Next is a Deimos Workstation 2x1, also from New Atlantis. This is going to have all of your crafting stations and research labs. Then we're going to finish off the body with a Deimos Science Lab for a research station and a medical station. Then you're going to use this Pinpoint 4G landing gear, also from Ryujin. Now I use this Deimos Skeg from New Atlantis for a filler spot here, but if you want, you could put a fuel tank or more cargo holds here. It's really up to you. This is just a filler spot. Then you're going to, want to duplicate that first landing gear and plug a grav drive in across the bottom. Then one more landing gear and we're done with the bottom. Now for the top part here you can pretty much use whatever you want. I used this demo spine the whole way across the top. The only part of it that actually serves any real function though is the back part of the spine which has two weapon mounts on either side which I mounted these class C alpha beams on. Next you have this Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator, which I love because it doesn't take up too much space, it's super compact, and it gives you max shields. You can pick this up on Neon's core on the main street at the Stroud office. Then I picked up this low profile Slim Docker from New Atlantis, which can go on the back. Next I used this Piloting 4 Starship Design 4 Sheared Flow Reactor that I believe I got in Aquila City. This reactor gives you 40 power, so you can keep all of your weapons, shields, and engines all the way up the whole time you're using it. Then all the engines are from Aquila City as well. Across the bottom we have these SAE engines that are Starship Design 4. And then across the top we have the Starship Design 4 SA4330 engines. After the wings we have this Deimos Wing A. You could swap this out for a different piece that has more weapon slots if you want. But I went with this wing and on the bottom I have this Alpha Beam and on the top I have the Vanguard Ares Particle Cannon. These are all from New Atlantis, but you're just going to duplicate that and do the exact same thing on the other side. Then we're going to build out the cool silhouette of the ship by grabbing the reverse versions of those wings and tucking them right behind. Now to build the back wings, you can get all these parts from Stroud store on the main street of Neon. You're going to start with the Stroud engine bracer A, and you have to go in a very particular order here. This goes onto the side of the grab drive. Now you're not actually going to be able to attach the second bracer straight on here. You're going to have to go in kind of a weird order. So you're going to start with the Stroud Cap A4, and you're going to put that on the outside of that front bracer. Then you're going to grab the reverse version of that same cap and slap it on the back. Once you do that, you'll be able to put the other bracer right in between and attach it to the inside of the reverse version of the cap. And you're just going to duplicate that exact same process on the other side. Now instead of running three weapon systems, I'm actually just running another set of Vanguard Ares Particle Cannons on the outside of these wings so I can have everything maxed at once. Then last but not least, we've got the fuel tanks and the cargo, which goes on the back slots here right in front of the engines. And there you have it. This is a really fun ship to use and it can really easily be scaled down in tech if you don't have all these parts unlocked yet. It dominates in dogfights, but it still has a lot of practical aspects for everyday use. So let me know what you guys think of this ship in the comments, and let me know if you guys have any cool ideas for what I should make next. As always, thanks for watching.